Hannah Hodges for a second, and the amazing battle that uh, Shelby Rowland went through for that third place finish. Also, tip of the hat to Jamie Osadio and Autumn Robin, our top five, and that WMX. They'll be back out again about uh, 3 o'clock this afternoon, local time. That would be uh, 4 o'clock, I believe, Eastern time. Gates down, though, on this next race, race 25, the Super Mini 1, 12 to 15. Who's going to grab the gears and grab the bell? Pole shot award, and that is going to be Joshua Varese, the 63 KTM out of Rialto, California, grabbing the early lead and uh, also trying to establish himself early on here as we take a look at his moto scores from the uh, previous runs here. Joshua Varese, I believe, might have been one of those riders that, uh, well, a six and a nine, we, we didn't see, I, I don't think, full potential out of him in those first two motos, so this might be one of those he's going to be trying to press for. He drops back to the number two spot as the Thrasher moves into the number one spot around on the 48 machine. If I remember correctly, though, Rod, uh, Varese had several charges, you know, didn't exactly get the result I'm sure he was looking for, but made his way through the pack and had some impressive lap times in those first couple motos. You know, there's a lot of those riders with that story here this week. Bad starts, making a uh, remarkable amount of passes, but not necessarily getting the recognition maybe that they are, are due for the accomplishments that they achieve. But uh, regardless... Uh, I think that uh, a lot of folks, uh, you know, we all watch first, second, third, maybe even the top ten we keep a very close eye on, but there are those one-off deals that we look for here at Loretta Lens that, uh, you know, sometimes really begin to show what they're actually made of here in this uh, third and final moto. And if nothing else, if a rider can come out here and do it for personal redemption, have a great uh, third moto, that's well enough as well. And that's why we'll point out those lap times of somebody maybe in that 14th, 15th position or something, but somebody that's really on the run is out there riding as, as maybe as fast or as hard as the leaders, but just way back in the pack. Wow, I don't know if you were watching as we were chit-chatting about the other did. thing. Max Boland has worked his way up into that number two position now for the number 11. So we are right back basically where we left off. Jeremy Ryan in the number three spot aboard the number 20. Ryan coming into this moto with a nine and an eight. Joshua Varees, the 63, rounds out the fourth place. And Talon Hawkins, there he is. He, he took a fifth place finish, uh, backed that up with some uh, issues. Actually had a bad first moto, then backed it up with a fifth and coming out in fifth again. And uh, as Jason Wygant pointed out, he didn't even get the whole shot. you got to remember that uh, Varese got the whole shot, and Nate Thrasher just basically thrashed his way past and has just thrashed this track to a 4.1-second lead on one lap of racing. That's really monumental. You better believe it. When you talk about that kind of time and picking up, and that's actually a short lap. You're losing about 8 to 10 seconds going back behind the billboard. So gain that kind of uh, uh, gap on a short lap. You know, we actually haven't even seen much of Thrasher on EraserTV.com coverage because he has barely been in any battles. This pack, it's usually so tight. It is right now between Volan, Ryan, Verizzi, Hawkins, Yoder, Larry Reyes. They're all in formation. But for the most part, Thrasher has been long gone by himself. He had a brief bobble earlier today, and Volan got by him. And it didn't take long for him to pull away again. Well, he simply thrashed our Racer TV cameraman. I mean, <laughs> Captain Woody's the only one that can keep him in sight right now. <laughs> there he is. All right, we're going to give you some Nate Thrasher right here. Now, there's one key element, Rodney, when you were interviewing Voland on the podium earlier today in the other Super Mini, Super Mini 2 class. Voland said, I'll be back in this class next year to win it. So you always have to look carefully at the ages of the riders in these two divisions. Voland knows he's old enough to stay in this class. So really the question is, Thrasher's three to four seconds quicker than Volan all week. Is that one year of age, will Volan make up three to four seconds? Will he and Thrasher at some point meet and be equal on speed? Thank you, Kevin Kelly. I thought my 88 cent Moser sunglasses were gone for good. Were they in the Rides Unlimited? Unbelievable. Great as, people down there. As you notice, nobody stole them. What? And nobody picked them up. They were Kevin found them exactly where you left them. So. That is just because <laughs> Rides Unlimited, they're great people. Uh, I mean, they saw the value. They probably wanted to eBay these shades. Yes. Got them back. <laughs> All right, our cameraman not losing, not losing sight of Thrasher for the last two laps now. So It's not easy to do. <laughs> hey, I tell you, two, two to watch right now. Uh, buried in the pack back in the number seven spot. Now, he was eighth up from eight to seven of the 202 lap time. Caden Amarine 
He uh, went three threes. Currently, as we said, setting seven. He's still third place overall as far as the standings are concerned if we were to finish like this right now. But a 202 and just ahead of him, a 205. Hunter Yoder's just yeah, ahead of him. Yoder. Also with a 202. So this could end up being some pretty good battles if Amaran can get around Hawkins or if Hawkins can catch up the Yoder, we might see a three-way battle. And look right behind Amarine is Matthew LeBond. Yeah, just getting ready to say he didn't quite get a start again. So Matt not really having the gates he wanted this week. But uh, sure enough, putting in the time and doing the work, man. Right now, potential uh, six overall for LeBlanc. And I want to tell you something, he's fought for every single one of those positions. If I, and correct me if I'm wrong, isn't LeBlanc relatively young in this class right now, Jason? Or is he is he right there with the older riders in this yeah, class? Yeah, I think so. I think this might be his first year in the class. So that's going to help him as well. That's the hardest thing to... The, the amateur scouts for the teams, they know exactly when these birth dates are and what age riders mature. Now, as you get older, it makes less of a difference. 18, 19, 20, it doesn't make any difference whatsoever, really. But when you're comparing, you know, 13 to 14, it's a bigger gap, but it begins to shrink. Last year, I was surprised because uh, Justin Cooper won a Horizon Award. I think it was 19, right. which is comparatively old. Right. Mm -hmm. And I asked all the teams, and everybody said, that makes no difference right. at that point. Yep. We don't care if he's 17 or 19, it's the same. Hunter Yoder, Yoder has caught up to the yep. rear of Joshua Varese now in Woo! a battle for the fourth place position. Talon Hawkins, I believe, and Caden Amarine not far behind. As we check in with lap three complete, Thrasher is through, Volan is through, Ryan, Varese, and now here it is. Hunter Yoder followed by Caden Amarine, and just off pace back there is Talon Hawkins aboard the 71 now in the seventh place position. Look at Yoder digging. He had that foot clear back behind that rear fender, Rodney. He was riding so hard, drug that foot back there out of that corner. Yoder on a mission right now. Yes, he most certainly is as he tries to track down the 63 machine. Looks like a little breathing room might have been uh, afforded now by, uh, for the number 63 under the Red Bull arch and down the short shoots now. And into that comedic corner those uh, riders will head. But Yoder reeling him in a half second and then Caden Amarim was right behind him. Yeah, Yoder, I tell you what, he made a couple really aggressive moves, and, and it paid off for him right there in just a couple corners. Made a big difference in track position and really kind of separated that group a bit right there. As we take a look, though, best lap, Thrasher, a 158, and you got a bunch of consistent two, uh, two flats, 201s right behind him, and currently turned about a 159, so not really uh, laying down that fast of a lap compared to everybody else, but just really consistent. And over three laps, that two seconds has turned into about eight and a half second gap. Woo, look at that move by Kate Namaron getting down to the inside on Verizzi and made that happen quick. Wow, he went from about three bike lengths back to in front of him in one sand section. Amaron, I think he's only gotten one good start in his motos this week, but he sure is riding fast. Well, we got a rider down. Who's that? That was the number 20. I believe that might have been Jeremy Ryan. That might have been our third place rider, Jeremy Ryan, in the dirt. Ryan's down. Yeah. Ryan down. Yep. The number 20 uh, Sheen right down there in front of us in that Thor sweeper turn. Hmm. Oh, Ryan still not able to refire that bike. Very unusual in these two strokes. Should be able to fire that thing right back up. Wow. And he had the best ride going. He was coming in those with a nine and an eight. And that third place run would have been. Uh, uh, a great way to end his week. I know he has to be frustrated now. Ryan's been fast, but uh, those things have happened too many times. He had a crash on one of those uh, twisty turns after the sand early in the week when he had a podium going for sure. Looks like he just lost another one here. So Jeremy Ryan, unfortunately, the results aren't going to show you how fast he's been riding. Yeah, he did fall uh, earlier in the week in the sand. So yeah, absolutely, yep. For sure. So uh, small mistakes like that, extremely costly. You know, everything's amplified here at the ranch. Everything doubled. Got a little breaking news up here. I was talking to uh, Will Hahn of uh, Star Racing Yamaha. He just wanted to uh, let me know that Kevin Kelly's terrible. He just wanted to pass that message along. Breaking news from Will Hahn, <laughs> multi-time uh, champion here. Yeah, he just he pulled me aside, pulled me aside and said, hey, I just want to let you know. Kevin Kelly's terrible. For those of you who, yes. who so had you, doubts, for those of you who were wondering if, if it was true or not, Will Hahn has confirmed yes, that facts. Kevin sucks. It's now officially facts. Okay. Wow. Yes. Good deal. Thank right. you. That's funny Thank how you. fast that stuff turns around. I mean, Thank you, you were for that, Will Hahn. Well, I'm going to be honest. The words that Megawatt used were the actual words Will said. 
the show. <laughs> Megawatt does not carry. He's unfiltered. That actual S-U-C-K-S is well, what we'll be last time. It's not carry. So, uh, Kevin, just in case you're wondering where you stand, it's been it's been made official. Yeah, I'll, I'll go with that. I have no problem with that. <laughs> you agree with Will Hahn? 100%. 100%. 100%. He's got his braces off. He's a little cocky now, so <laughs> easy there, little fella. You're five foot four. You had braces for seven years. Why it took seven years to begin with to fix that? Still didn't fix your problem with the ladies. So. <laughs> Sound like there might have been some extra teeth no, there. No, we give him so much crap on our show. I yeah. absolutely deserve that and a million times worse. So <laughs> bring it on, Will. That's I deserve great. it, bud. That's great. Right. Nate Thrasher. I got an idea on a nickname for Nate Thrasher. I don't know if you guys heard. What are you thinking? Are you Nate the Thrasher Thrasher. Have oh, you heard this? Have you heard this? You no, I've that heard this, man. In there, like that The Thrasher. It just changes it so much, uh, Weed. It's, actually, just, it's I, incredible. I, I yeah. thought that was on his birth certificate, to be honest with the, you. I thought that Nate, was his middle the, name, his Nate, middle name? Thrasher. Nate T. Thrasher. Which Nate all T. the team managers have a copy of his birth certificate, so they know when he's born age, yeah, they know. Are you from Puerto Rico? <laughs> we got Little League World Series starting up here, so we know how that works. That's right. The Cuban 17-year-old middle infielder. <laughs> <laughs> his lead is eight seconds over Volan. Amarine is up to uh, third. Then you see 63 of Arisi coming through in the Ten Commandments. Thrasher's got it under control, aiming for two championships this year. Hey, Jason, sweeping the Super Mini. He has one more year left on his uh, KTM deal now. Everybody's going to throw everything oh. that they have at him, the kitchen sink, whatever, to get him to sway his attentions towards whatever color bike they want him on. And for those teams that didn't know that, you do now. Kevin just lets you know there that you he's go. a free agent oh, here I'm sure they soon. Know. So. I'm sure they've done their due diligence. Exactly. He's tried out a few different bikes now. If you'll remember, he was on a KTM two right. years ago, moved yep. to Kawasaki last year, back to the legit Orange Brigade KTM. So. And can win on anything. He's proven he, yeah, exactly. He wins on whatever he's on. So I would almost take that as an asset. Like, this guy's done it on three different bikes. What have you ever done it on, Ronnie? Never, oh, I've done it on a lot of things, but never won on, <laughs> to be honest with you. <laughs> he has, I'd say that sums it up Should quite well. Should I get well. filtered right now? I say, I'd say Rodney could not have said that. Yep. Should I become accurate. filtered, we <laughs> could not have oh, said well, that. I, I, I didn't necessarily mean it the Nailed way it came out now. Come on. <laughs> the fact that I'm even alive after the years of damage I have put my gracious. body through is incredible. Kevin Kelly. Looking in our uh, souvenir yearbook here, we still have some available up at the MX Sports trailer. Before you leave home, you might want to grab one and have that as a souvenir. But I'm also looking to the Hall of Fame, which is in here, which lists all of our championship. <laughs> Nate Thrasher, I'm looking through this Hall of Fame. These guys are going nuts behind me here. Thrasher. I think he has one title here before. Let me get this correct. Jason White no. getting Prestine World, Prestige no Worldwide titles. back in action over there, putting Mr. in the Google, time, doing the research. The human Google, Jason Wygant, making things the happen over Google. I asked Alexa, <laughs> and her answer is no titles for well, Nate Thrasher. Until today, he won Nate one this Thrasher. morning, and he's got another one now. Oh, yeah, look under the Thrasher. Oh, it's stiff and alphabetical. Yeah, it's under T Thrasher. Nate T Thrasher. Nate the Thrasher. There he is, 48 on your screen. Number yeah. one in your heart. Correct. Thrashing Nate the Thrasher Thrasher. I can't do that. Thrashing Nate the Thrasher Thrasher. The dashing. The dashing. Dashing, dashing, dashing the thrashing. Dashing Nate Thrasher. He's Ooh, got Dashing it. Nate Thrasher. That's Airing out. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, that is nice. He's got a top hat, a monocle. And a gold medal. Yeah, and a gold Three medal to go with the suit. This kid is styling and profiling. <laughs> <laughs> and he has to tell everybody in every neighborhood now. <laughs> That's right. And he comes to the ranch. No, no change in the order. <laughs> There's Volan in second. He just got an idea of the gap. Volan run well, just not as well as Thrasher. He has essentially been the second place guy, which is something to be proud of. That's still pretty amazing at this event. 
and Voland setting himself up to be a contender in future years here. There's Voland. These kids look like high school basketball players when you see them on a super mini note. Gigantic. Yeah, these kids could dunk. You need to ask Nate if he helps his dad out during the summer. Moving like, houses? Do you help move houses? Like, do you ever get involved in that? I bet he has. If his All dad's right. a good Tennessee man, he's put that young man to work, I guarantee you. All right, we will ask Nate on the podium. Nathaniel Thrasher. You make him sound like Jed Clampett. Like, <laughs> and Nate sounds like he's from, like, Missouri or something. He has <laughs> zero accent. His pops, absolutely. Yes. Nate has the St. Louis Midwestern no, no accent accent. accent. Yeah. There's Voland out of Northern California, of course, son of Talon Voland. Nephew uh, of Tyson Voland. Yep. Tyson is uh, often it was uh, Tyson doing the training and coaching. Talon's pretty busy, full time job in the industry with the Cherubies. Who we got coming through the sand rollers here? Tough to see there. There's a yeah, good, another look at Voland. Picking up that uh, Red Bull Orange Brigade or the Red Bull, coveted Red Bull ride, and there's talks of uh, even Thrasher might grab one of those helmets pretty soon. Thrasher actually has the monster colors right now, but like you said, oh. man, there's going to be a bidding war on this guy. Everybody wants him. Yep. Yeah, that Holman. guy's stock going straight through the roof right now. Two oh, laps best to go. Two. two to go. Is that two or four laps? When he gives us two twos, that would mean four to go. Correct. I'm very confused. I would see four to go in my book. Nine laps to go. All right, I got to put these sunglasses <laughs> on. The future for Nate Thrasher. So bright. You have to wear shades. That's right. His I have future to wear is so bright that he made I have you to wear, shades, wear yes. shades. I have to wear these 88 cent shades. Now, the good news for Thrasher, he's going to get two pairs of Oakley sunglasses for two lucky ladies. Oh, wow. All of our champions getting Oakley sunglasses. And he's got two titles. Text and it was hilarious to see Laura, Hayden Deegan's Lisa, mom and sister fight over the certificate. <laughs> <laughs> All right, he's picking the action back up while Jason makes his way down to the podium to set the stage for you as these riders continue to jockey through these final closing moments of this Super Mini 1 12 to 15 year old class. Nate Thrasher, a 1 1 1, will, uh, should win the championship, but barring no problems between now and checkers. Max Bolin, a 2 2 2, would take second. Caden Amarine looking at a 3 3 3 for third. Then, as we look back a little further than that, uh, we got Matt LeBlanc looking at a 7 4 6 for overall fourth. Joshua Fariz with a 6 9 4, that would be fifth overall for him. Chance Hymas, an 8 6 7, would be good enough for sixth overall. The 5800 Yoder. A 4-7, and now running 11th, Yoder has dropped back, and that will put him 7th overall. Jeremy Ryan, a 9-8-8, is 8th overall. Wyatt Lightback, a 10-11-9, is 9th overall. And Jackson Craig, uh, what up, Craig? 11-13-10. And uh, he's had some good runs earlier in the week as well in some other classes. But uh, here at Super Mini 1, we see that he is growing and stretching his legs. But an overall top 10. Certainly a lot to be proud of out here for Craig. There's the number 63 again. A look at Joshua Varese running that number in remembrance of his friend Jason Sloan. Good buddies there. The red-headed Californian. There's Joshua. He's in the number four spot. 204 lap time, not bad, deep into a moto. Just two seconds off his fastest lap time. There's Nate Thrasher here on this Lucas Oil last lap. One more time through the mechanics area. He's had the week you want to have. What did, yeah. did he win every moto? Uh, or did he lose I one think, moto? I, I'm not sure. Uh, I don't think he did. I think he won every moto for okay. what memory set to serve me. But uh, if he didn't, I know uh, that's what we're going to remember his dominance in these classes regardless sure. if he didn't because he has just exuded that nothing but dominance but this is going to give him a head of steam as we head down to florida in a few short months yeah and the minios just got that much more interesting with nate thrash i believe he's going to hop on the 125 pretty soon though right Schoolboy yeah. class so yeah this may be his last hurrah what a great way to go out with a pair of super mini titles yeah, I'm looking forward to heading back to Gatorback Cycle Park this year. It should Absolutely. be should be a lot of fun. Had uh, missed last year's race, but uh, yeah, definitely. You're back. Gonna, I'm back. Bringing Rodney Hot Rod is back. Hopefully, uh, we'll have Styles Robertson back with us. Carter Halpain out with an injury this week as well. We've got Jet Reynolds on the men, so there are some players that are chomping at the bit to get back. 
so bummed, bummed for Carter Halpain. In practice, he goes down, hurts his shoulder, I believe. And that, that is after coming off an ACL injury in the spring. So this kid has just been off the radar as we turn our attention back to the number 48 of Thrasher with a few more turns to go, Rodney. Yes, and I'm sure we, there's a lot of that, uh, and we see that every uh, race season, I think, here at Loretta's. The, uh, preseason leading into the national championship certainly delivers a lot of surprises but no surprises today for the super mini one 12 to 15 year old national champion as he finds his way into the final turns here at loretta lens and the final rhythm section to cross the checkers to go one 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 and take the national championship for the super mini one 12 to 15 year old class a perfect race week here for the 48 machine hold your head up high the number 11 of Maximus Bowling, he'll be back next year, and he says he's going to win this title, so he has to be right now the favorite looking at it going back next year because several of these kids will graduate, and Bowling will be left to rule the roost. Okay, Namorine will finish in the number three spot. you got to really uh, commend this young man on the push that he had to uh, ride just to get back into that position. He had a lot of competition. Josh Marie's back in the number four spot, Talon Hawkins. He goes uh, those last couple of motos uh, finishing up fifth for him after that uh, uh, miscue there in moto number one. So a little redemption for him. Chance Hyman and si Hyman's is sixth this moto. Matt LeBlanc finishes seventh. Jeremy Ryan in eighth. Wyatt Lieback in ninth. And Jackson Craig rounds out your top ten. All right, we got our top three motorcycles down here in the cool down area. Kay Namarine in here in the Rides Unlimited. Number 32, the Orange Brigade KTM of Max Voland. And the Orange Brigade KTM of Nathaniel Thrasher. I'll give these kids just a minute to cool off. It's pretty hot down here compared to what we've had all week. Finally came back. Summertime heat. Dog days of summer. So we'll let these young men recover for a moment. Josh Verizzi in here. Chance Hymas as well. Talon Hawkins. All right. We got to get Kay Namarine up to the podium and celebrate a third place finish. Caden's been doing work from the back. I think maybe two of the six motos he had a decent start. The four of them, he was working. So that's a well earned podium finish in this moto. We're going to bring Caden Amarine up, getting the jersey back on. Rob Fox from Dunlop, hooking up the championship machine. So here we go, Caden Amron, an excellent run, certainly something to be proud of in what might be the most stacked of all the mini cycle classes. He gets the super mini, he had a title last year, moves up on the podium. Let's hear it for the Rides Unlimited KTM of Caden Amron. Do you just like having to pass people? Because, man, you're doing some work this week. Uh, it's been rough. Uh, I don't know. I can't get off the gate for some reason this week, but we're going to go back and work on them. And, uh, man, just tired from coming back from the back. I need to work on my starts. Yep. Who do you want to thank for a good week? Uh, my mom, my dad, Greg Geisler, the whole Rise Limit team, BTO Sports, Seven, Garnet, Scott, Bell, uh, Ethica, KTM, and Power Band, and Gizmawad. Let's hear it for Caden Amarine, third place. And our runner-up is going to be Max Volan. There's Max. Well, he had to settle for just being a podium guy this week, but that's pretty impressive at Loretta's second place. Let's hear it for Maximus Volan. Let's move down to center just a little bit here. Uh, good riding all week. I know you want those victories, but I heard you say this morning you'll be back for those next year. Uh, yeah, no, definitely. Uh, and it kind of sucked when you're, uh, you, you just put yourself in a good position coming up, and then, man, he's just so fast, Nate. And, uh, good job to him. And uh, today, the last moto felt like my best moto of the week, so I think we're progressing, and uh, next year we'll be ready to do what Nate did. <laughs> there you go. Uh, where do you go from here? Mini Olympics, what's your next thing on the radar? Next thing is just go home, do some local races, and uh, go down to L.A. and get ready so we can uh, see and try and get that win at Monster Cup. There you go. Who do you want to thank? 
And I'd uh, love to thank KTM Orange Brigade, Red Bull, Troy Design, Scott Goggles, FMF, Dunlop, Acherbys, Neil Concepts, um, WP Suspension, my mechanic Brent, Motion Pro, my dad, my grandpa, my, uh, my uncle, Marty McGovern, Pronto Real Estate, and John Moore. Everyone else, thank you. There it is. Let's hear from Maximus Voland. Second place in the Super Mini Division. And this guy swept it all week long. He wins both titles in Super Mini. That includes a gold medal. He's got to put the jersey on. We want to make sure the logos look good. These guys were hot and they're cooling off quickly. We'll let him get the uh, 7MX jersey dialed in there. And then a gold medal. And then a... <laughs> Apparently, some people down here like the look. He's got the hat, he's got the gold, and most importantly, the shield trophy for winning in Super Mini again. Let's hear it for Nate Thrasher. Here, just come out front here, Nate, and we'll talk about it. Unbelievable. I don't know what else there is even to say. I mean, the lap times, the speed, the gap, all the moto wins. It's unbelievable. Did you know that this was going to happen? Uh, yeah, coming into the week, um, I was been working this hard all year, so I knew it was going to come sometime. And uh, at that last moto, um, I had a little tip over, but my suspension was making a little clicking noise. Um, I don't know what's up with that. We'll go back and look at it. But uh, everybody at uh, Factory Connection is doing great all week. And um, just can't thank everybody enough. My Dunlop tires got off to a great start. I hooked up all moto. And... Uh, just tried to ride my race once I got into the lead and uh, just tried to ride smooth. Um, and then after that, I just tried to put it in cruise control and um, just get the win. I got to meet your dad last year. He's a pretty hardcore dude. He's got some gnarly jobs that he does moving houses. He ever put you to work or are you doing all the work you need to do in the motorcycle? Or is that what toughens you up? Yeah, well, we'll for sure. We'll go back and uh, do a little bit of work on the off seat, uh, the off break here. And then we'll head back down to MTF and get ready for the uh, next national. Do you actually help him with the, with the blue collar job? Uh, yeah, a little bit. Not much. <laughs> yeah, well, now you've earned the right to take some time off. Who do you want to thank? Uh, i got to thank Hall, Monster Energy, uh, Hope, Nate Ramsey from KTM. All the KTM USA guys are helping me out a huge ton. Uh, and then uh, Alpine Star, Seven, Oakley Goggles, Bell Helmets, uh, everybody over at uh, Vertex, OGO, Ethica, Comatech, DT Air Filters, TM Design Work, uh, Pivot Works, Motor X, Pro Taper, just everybody. FMF, thank you. All right, that's Nate Thrasher. I'm going to invite Ricky Rickards from the AMA on up to hand over the number one plate in Super Mini to Nate Thrasher. I believe I have a whole shot award for uh, Joshua Verizzi and also uh, Bell Helmet's uh, helmet for Nate. There's even more stuff. Bell Helmet's going to hand him a golden helmet. Come on up here, Joshua Verizzi. We'll invite uh, Nate's family on up for photos on the podium, but first a Bell Helmet's whole shot award. Let's hear it for Josh Verizzi. How'd that one go? It went good. Uh, my Dunlop tires, Twisted Development Motor, was hooking up great on the start. Uh, I got a really good jump and just uh, shifting gears to get to the uh, first corner first. And I did, and uh, lost the lead a couple la uh, corners later to Nate. But uh, it was a good race. Track was pretty gnarly, but my factory connection suspension was working great. And, uh, Everything was good. It's got to find a little bit more uh, speed. You want to thank anybody else real quick? Yeah, I'd like to thank the Lord for keeping me safe, my mom and dad, my little brother, the whole KTM Orange Brigade team, Twisted Development Motors, Free the Peeps, Thor, uh, Parts Unlimited, Alpine Star, 6D, Scott, Factory Connection, um, JaySlon.com. Just everybody. I know that there's a lot of other people, but if I forgot anybody, thank you so much. All right, that's Josh Verizzi.